Oh, welcome. I'm William and welcome to Foot on Wind and this is The Rift Breaker. It's a hybrid hack and slash base building tower defensey type game where we're going to take over a planet and uh, build a base to bring back humanity. I'm um, just looking at the options over here. We've got some nice controls. There's some nice settings for graphics, lots of options, including some ray tracing for shadows and ambient occlusion. Just a nice spread of options in here, which is always good to see. There's also an interesting uh, option here for Twitch, for connecting to Twitch and uh, adding voting for options of positive and negative events. That seems like it could be fun. If you want to see that, check me out on Twitch um, and tell me in the comments if you want to see me do that. Always like it when games offer the option for lowering frame rate for streaming um, and uh, having a nice big mix of options for curses, showing damage and all that sort of stuff. It's a great thing to see. So this is the 1.0 version of the game that just came out. Um, there was a prologue some people have played. I have not, so this is going to be my first impressions and go, so we'll see how. Um, yeah, so let's hop in and do the um, campaign. All right, so let us get going with the campaign. I'm just going to do normal. Um, if I potentially go through later and do it with hardcore or hard or brutal, we'll see. Um, but since I haven't played the prologue or any of the other modes yet, I think it's a good starting point to just uh, do the recommended. Planet Galatia 37, Syncrax Belt, Milky Way. That's a pretty render. Riftbreaker Ashley reporting successful jump procedure. Boom. Roger that. Begin field base setup. Reminds me of the uh, Starcraft starting sequence. Uh, with the marine suit set up. It's closing in. Mecha Swords! The Rift Breaker. Bom bom. They diversify your defenses to stand a chance against different kind of enemies. You don't want to be caught using regular bullets against enemies with physical damage resistance. Okay, so we've got enemies with different uh, stats and resistances and I guess like elemental stuff or something. Um, that'll be cool. Nice, it gives us a little pop-up of all the controls to start off with. So we've got... Uh, when to wait for actions, what's on? And we've got the tab of the M for map, space for interact, left control build, escape, QE to change weapons, left shift for movement skills, so I guess we're back in dash, uh, right and left hand for different weapons, database, scanner, crafting, infantry research. Pretty self-explanatory, good controls. I like that it pops it up, even though we did check this out beforehand. Let's us go. Wow. Rift jump successful. All systems check. Gravitational strength 1.05 G. Atmospheric pressure within safe levels. Magnetic field check. Error. Repeat magnetic field check with stationary equipment. Star system positioning check. Milky Way Galaxy. Sycorax Belt. Planet Galatea 37. Ashley. We. Have arrived. We have arrived. Welcome to Galatea 37, Mr. Riggs. This is Mr. Riggs. Riggs! Hey, Riggs! 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 An alien tropical paradise. And we're the first humans to experience it. I'm not exactly human. You have a few parts missing as well. <laughs> and the paradise part is also left to be determined. You could at least pretend to be human. Just a bit. But you're right. There's no going home until we can construct a functioning rift station. Let's start with the basics. I'm just stomping on cockroaches. Construct a headquarters building to secure our presence here. It will allow me to reconstruct if my armor is destroyed. Doing some manual mining. Enough resources to construct a headquarters building. So. Now we get to the sort of the Factorio-ish base building. It's not as complicated as that. It's more sort of Starcrafty Factorio-esque. Um, I'm not actually sure what the best place to put it, and I don't know if these maps are random. 
So I'm gonna put it like that. Construction is in progress. I'm not actually this sure if that's a good spot. This is our main base of operations on Galatea 37, our new home. We have to protect this building at all costs. You will be teleported here whenever I am critically damaged. There is no other backup if this building is destroyed. So that's the game over that's thing. Basic training, Mr. Riggs. Let's focus on the less obvious things. I am required to remind you of basic protocol, even if we've done this before. We need to expand the base. Let's build a carbonium factory to do the digging for us. Yes, we've got much more interesting things to do. Let's automate this. Oh yeah, automation. So I'm not exactly sure how these mines work. Do they have to... Do they have a range or do they just work on exactly what they're placed on? Um, we need more of this stuff. That's why it wasn't letting us build. Automation games just make me super happy though, so... I'm gonna get enough for a couple of these and see what happens. Let's see how that works. Ashley, I'm sure that our presence will not go unnoticed. We should build up our base as quickly as possible. I actually like this spot because we're surrounded by walls on Standard two sides. Well. To set up walls and sentinel towers around the base. However, I don't expect as much aggression from the native fauna as in the simulations. That's a so Follow the protocol, Ashley. Follow the protocol. The environment in the simulation was very accurate. That's true. But the scenario was crafted by Riftbreaker Command. They usually focus on the brute force aspect of these missions. Do you want to run a brute force check if this is a simulation? You never give up, do you? Do you? Do you? Okay, Mr. Stubborn. I guess it won't hurt to set up some solid defenses, just in case. Oh, you Thank get you. Two words. You're welcome, Mr. Riggs. So it looks like these power plants take up quite a bit of space. So uh, I'm going to see if I can maybe leave some space for some more um, mines. Just because, you know, um, but if we put one more down here, then we can put our carbonium mine up there. Well, I mean power supply. We need some towers. So some defenses. So of course the rifts are our teleporting thing and that's something that I've seen that's really cool about this game is that you get that sort of um, mobility where you can teleport around the map which is a nice little thing. Sentinel tower, basic defensive, shoots high speed energy projectiles. Cool, I like that. So it's sort of tower defensey, factorio, Was that a pre-scripted media? Because it came exactly when I pressed that turret in here. <laughs> so I'm just going to put some towers around my main basey bit. And then I'll get some power to them. I don't have enough AI cores to support any more defensive towers. You will need to construct additional AI hubs to expand our defenses. Interesting. Remember to build more power plants before you do that. AI hubs consume a lot of energy. That's Actually, interesting. I strongly advise you to construct an armory. It will allow us to craft new weapons and upgrades and also manufacture field repair kits as well as other usable items. And it will produce more ammunition for your guns. Yes, that is an important building. So I'm going to go for the classic concentric walls sort of style of building. So this will be our main sort of hub. And then our other areas we will sort of, you know, split out a little bit more. So I'm going to put this, something like that, oh, we need more stuffs. We need to put some power connector majiggy bobs. 
Was that a, a peacock sound? That was definitely a peacock. Why are there peacocks in Alien Planet? I don't know. So this needs carbonium. So we're not getting enough carbonium. To expand our automation. Actually, we wanted a gate. Um, keep on pressing buttons that I shouldn't because I'm used to other games, but let's go. Can we get more mines in here? We seem to definitely be using a lot of carbonium. Whatever carbonium is supposed to be. God damn peacocks. That actually doesn't fit there. I guess we need to look for some more mining sites. Um, okay, so I just checked we've got space for AI cores on the top right, we've got our power. I'm assuming that's demand and production. We've got our carbonium. I'm detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. Oh, it looks no. like our presence has been noticed. Ashley, we don't have a lot of defensive structures. Prepare to fight. Sound of kind of panic. I guess panic we were right about setting up more defenses. We'll have to handle this ourselves. Remember to use repair kits if necessary. Okay, I can probably check on the minimap where the wave comes from. There it is. I'm gonna put our armory up over there. Potentially get another power thingy in between there. Maybe we go preemptively check it out. Oh, we also got some more ionium up there and Uh, it seems to save as soon as you leave build mode. That's cool. There's critters. So now the Zerg are coming! Ashley, are you still skeptical about the local creature's level of aggression? I'm skeptical about the procedures for prepping this planet for colonization. Humanity lost its love for nature after the Yellowstone eruption, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't try to preserve this ecosystem. Earth is barely habitable at this point. We have to secure Galatea 37 for colonization and resource extraction as soon as possible. Excessive care about the local environment is unnecessary. That's not entirely true. Other rift-breaking missions have already secured a number of resource-rich planets for humanity. We're not on the brink of extinction. Our goals on this mission are clear, and our survival and security is the top priority. Damage to the ecosystem is inevitable. Did I just you die? You wanted to come here yourself, and you knew what has to be done. Are you doubting the mission? I know what has to be done. That's not the point. Galatea has to be prepared for colonization. I don't doubt that. If I didn't come here myself, then someone else would have. I believe that we can do this in a better way. We have to defend ourselves and secure the necessary resources to set up the rift station. But we don't have to destroy all the wildlife we encounter. Humanity doesn't need another stripped down factory world. If we want to progress as a species, then we should study this planet and learn how to blend with the environment and prepare a safe home for humanity. Armory construction finished. We can now use it to craft new items. It will also automatically manufacture ammunition for my weapons. Well, at least she isn't completely uh, anti-environment. It looks like we have the base up and running. If you'd like to construct more advanced buildings, you'll have to upgrade the headquarters building. Unfortunately, this process also emits a lot of high-frequency energy waves. 
These creatures are clearly drawn to our energy emissions, so it will be like an alarm bell for them. We should strengthen our defenses before upgrading the HQ. Very satisfying sound. Not enough carbonium. We need to find another carbonium mine. We're the getting rain is over. plenty of the ironium, but not enough carbonium mines. Seems like it's just a sort of a centralized storage. You don't need actually transport resources, which is fine. So let's go see the different things over here. We've got the orbital scanner. We've got event logs. So you can go and repeat all the audio logs, which is cool. Uh, we've got our database of all the species, which is not filled up yet. We've got the scanner for the planet. So we, as far as I understand, you can go to different parts of the planet where there are different resources to get them to do your, your big rift thing. We've got our loadout um, or crafting for our actual Mr. What was his name? Mr. I, I don't know. Um, Mr. Robot, I'll call him. So we've got ranged weapons, melee weapons, movement skills, skills, and upgrades. So we can get a shotgun, we can get a small machine gun, and then we can also... Okay, here's our inventory, we can see what upgrades we've got. We've got energy sensors. We can go between small machine gun and blaster. We've got movement skill with a dash. We can customize our appearance it seems. We've got mods which I have no idea what they do yet. Probably give us different elemental stuff or something. We'll see. We've got consumables. That's cool. I actually didn't notice that. And then we've got a big research tree which we haven't unlocked yet. So we'll get there. So we need a communication hub for that. I just want to go out and find some more carbonium resource. Just getting some biomass as we smack some plants as we run around. Very rocky areas. I dig the graphical style. It's like so colorful and like dense, but it still feels good. We've got ironium over here. Wow. Zerg Rush. Feel my steel. So yeah, really, we're not caring about the environment. Like a lot of automation games. Ooh. Got some sort of... Okay, this is a single fire weapon. I much prefer the machine gun style thing. Pew pew pew! We do have ammo for this though, so... It's sort of like Zerg Lurker style things. Those were just cockroaches and I didn't need to worry about them. There's Carbonium. Okay, so we've got some carbonium over here that we probably need to do a little bit of an outpost for to get stuff. So I'm just going to clear some terrain around here. Ooh, mud slows us down. Ooh, that's nice, satisfying. Not all the creatures are hostile, at least. Got some freaking hyena peacocks. Um, let's get some carbonium factories over here. I'm gonna do it like that. I'm gonna put things here like that. We need some power also. Um, let's just stand here and do some hand mining. Not ideal. So I'm going to put it some storage, some wind, and some solar. I actually don't know how much power 
that gives plus 20, that gives plus 12, and the mines use 20. So let's get uh, another solar, I mean another wind, and then some more solar. Looks so like we get some upgrades as well, and we can repair buildings, that's cool. I'm just going to keep exploring. Ashley, I'm detecting a sudden change in air humidity and wind speed. A fog is forming up. It's hard to see anything in this fog. It's cool that there's some uh, weather effects so that you can sort of get some dynamic stuff. And I think it affects the power production as well. We can try to recover it later. Oh, I see. That's an explosive plant thing. That's why I've died there. And we need some more power over here. Okay, let's go take that weapon. Need some more defenses for this mine as well. It's very hard to see with this fog, as she said. Ooh, we've got a geothermal vent over here. I think the weather's cleared up. The fog is clearing up. This will make things easier for us. Okay, this place is still functional. Okay, let's get some more ammo. I believe we can just get that by coming to the armory. I'm not actually sure if I like the blaster. We need to get some better weapons, but let's quickly just get some more storage. Let's put some over here. So we need to start expanding out of here because we're sort of building in tight. So something like that. Let's get another AI core thingy, we put that in the main base, just because that's an important thing I think. Let's put some defensive stuff in here. Fill that gap over there. Power in these zones. That's the explosive plant thing, is it? Yeah. This time we don't stand next to it while we do that. So it seems like there's just a map end that we can't actually go any further than. Fair enough. I think that makes this a vulnerable spot because we're probably going to have a um, wave coming from that area. So I think I'm just going to connect this up to the main base so we don't have to go for a whole um, new power supply system. It's not that far. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a big old wall like that. There's a lot of area over here, so might as well capture it. 
Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. So they call it steel now. But it's not called steel anywhere else. Okay. So we get repaired when we come up to the main building and we get re ammoed when we come past the armory. More carbonium. Ionium up there. Nice. Gets very dark at night, actually. Should probably build one of those biomass burner things. I haven't actually been using any of this biomass that we get. Why are we out of power over here? Does it just not reach? My bad. Yeah, we're definitely getting power issues. So let's get one of those biomass burners and see if it's any good. Let's get two of them, why not? Let's get some power storage as well. Let's go add some walls. Warning! Hostile creatures are closing in on our base. Prepare for an attack. Prepare for an attack. Coming from the bottom right, it looks like. We need more AI cores, so let's put another one over there. Just destroy the environment a bit, you know, because humanity doesn't care about that. A lot of automation games have that sort of aspect. Factorio, pollution, this, you're just destroying the environment. So how are these things working? Um, okay, there's our plant biomass meter. So we've got 500 of it, it's not going to last long at this rate. So we can build rift portals, which allow us to travel quickly to like our outlying areas so we can go and put one in our distant one over here and then we should be able to teleport from there back to the main base okay, so then how do we use it danger hostile creatures are approaching our base get ready for battle seriously how do we use it I actually have no idea how we're supposed to use that. Um, options, controls. I did try space. Let's just try it again. Okay, so just a quick pause to the action over here. There's going to be a few bits in this video that I've deliberately left in that I'm going to seem like a big dum dum because I feel like one. But I think there are a couple of aspects in this game that were a little bit of an oversight. They as far as I can tell, don't explain anywhere how to actually use the rift. And this is the rift breaker. And uh, as far as I can tell, I may have completely missed something and be a big dum dum. You can tell me that's the case. But it was definitely not obvious. They don't tell you how to use the rift. I have to uh, actually Google that to find out. And there's another thing later on that I can't figure out for a while. So, yeah. I'm gonna look like a big dum-dum, but I left it here on purpose just because it shows you the frustration of a little bit of an oversight in the tutorial aspect of the game. But it's as simple as just opening up the, the map with tab and clicking on your things. Um, if you don't know, I don't find out uh, for quite some time. As I said, I have to Google it. They don't instruct you. Um, it may be something that they include in the prologue or if you do the skirmishes, but at no point that I can tell they do they show it in the campaign so yeah okay back to the action it does not seem to operate okay let's go there they are they're coming to the right as we expected Base is under attack. let's bring them away from the walls Okay, this wave is a lot bigger than the first one. Oh, 
Nice. Nothing got really damaged over there. I just want to figure out that roof portal thing jig. Maybe we need to get an upgrade or something for that to work. I am not sure. The wind is much stronger than usual. Thanks for getting a boost to our wind turbines. Let's build a couple more of those. Okay, now we can probably, we've got enough stuff to go ahead and upgrade the uh, main building. Let's just give us a drag to repair thing, I don't know. Okay, let's go do this. Maybe it was locking it behind the upgrade thing. The upgrade will attract a very strong attack. Are you sure you want to upgrade? Yes. Headquarters upgrade in progress. This will attract a lot of attention. We should reinforce our defense Bring as it. much as we can. Things are going to get very hot very soon. I am glad we are back on the same page about properly securing our base. Yes, Mr. Robot. We can't save this world if we let it kill us. Hey, Mr. Grumpy? Why do you insist on calling me names? Mr. Grumpy. <laughs> I hope you're not offended. Are you? No. That would be inefficient. I don't Come want to be on, inefficient. Rick. Let's not be so serious. Riggs. I had to give you a better name than what they called you. Rip jump and exploration mega suit Mark IV Griffin variant. What is wrong with that name? I think it's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. Pew pew. Okay, we started to explore a nice area around the base, which is noise, 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 noise. Base is up grudder. I can sense the ground shaking. I estimate a few thousand creatures running at our base. A few they thousand. Very close. Prepare yourself, Ashley. We've made all the preparations that we could. Let's go out and meet them. So they're coming from the left corner. Fair enough. Let's set up some secondary walls. Can't hurt to be extra prepared. Carbonium deposit depleted. Base is under attack. Ooh, they're going up to the top there. That would be a great time to teleport. Uh, Not enough if I knew how. One of our walls has been destroyed. Whoa, those are big ones. Those are some big ones. They do seem rather focused on taking out the walls, so that's good. We should start downloading new blueprints so we can construct more advanced buildings and items. Build a communications hub as soon as possible. Okay, let's remember Ooh, to build we're getting additional hurt. power plants for it. It consumes a lot of energy. Base is under attack. Okay, we have actually received quite a bit of damage. I wasn't expecting them to come from this side. Because the map showed it coming from the bottom corner. The next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. So that kind of sucks. Time to rebuild. Yeah. I'm gonna put more turrets this time because I don't think that was enough. Not enough AI cores. Let's build more AI hubs. A storm is coming. The storm is very violent, but our base is safe from the wind. Wind turbine output is at maximum levels. I'm gonna double wall this. Cause why not? Let's 
to see if we can connect this to the other base. The storm is over. It's so quiet all of a sudden. Cool, so now we can get the communications hub. I don't know how big this thing is, it's quite large, so let's put that, I guess we're gonna put it up in this area. This because of space. Communications of construction in progress. We can download all the technology blueprints that we need through this building's quantum entanglement template matrix. It's a pity that we can't upload anything back to Earth. There's so much data to be gathered here, I can't wait to start collecting research specimens. We will be able to share all of our research data as soon as the Rift Station is operational and the Rift back to Earth has been opened. Let's focus on that first. The communications of construction finished. We can now use it to download new technologies. New technologies. Hell yeah, so now we can get our tech tree going. So it's not really a research thing, it's just downloading it from Earth. Um, let's quickly repair ourselves. So that was this massive, massive, beautiful thing we've got over here. So we've got the basics over here. We can get some, get some new things, um, some new tools. Upgraded biomass, um, we can get radar, allows towers to shoot beyond their range, interesting. And get some repair facilities, ooh, I like that. It uses cobalt, we don't have cobalt yet. Ammo storage, tower ammo factory, produces ammunition for towers, interesting. Do they run out of ammo then, I guess? Um, orbital scanner, lots of cobalt, um, cobalt handling. So that might be something we want to get. Um, headquarters level three, communication hub level two, Sentinel Towers. So I think we're going to go for Cobalt. Then let's add, um, where was it? The repair buildings. Let's upgrade the defensive towers and get the radar. That's probably enough for now for that. Let's look at our mech tech tree over here so we've got armor upgrade so we do reflective armor so we reflect 10 percent of damage to enemies get a radar pulse get a dodge roll we get grenades that sounds cool so that's consumable i think oh it's one second cooldown okay Armory level two requires headquarters level four. Get a spear melee weapon. Um, get a hammer, power fist. Oh, we're getting some more hammer vibes there. Liquid weapons, we get a flamethrower, sweet. And explosive weapons. Um, I'm just gonna add the power fist because that sounds freaking epic. And let's get the explosives because that also sounds epic. And we've got another tech tree over here for alien research. Ooh. Alrighty, um, what are we currently low on? Um, I think we need basically, well, I guess the cobalt doesn't show until we find it. But I think let's go around and just uh, clear out the map a bit. Get some biomass and all that. Just ravaging this planet of all its plants. How lovely. Such nice people, humans. Ashley, now that the basic base setup is complete, we should start working on our primary objective constructing an interplanetary rift station. It is going to take a long time to build, so we should start working on it as soon as possible. That's true. It's a massive building with multiple components and pipeline connections for plasma fuel and coolant. It's going to be the central structure in our base with multiple support buildings, so we should plan a lot of free space around it. Let's start by placing the foundation. Carbonium deposit depleted. 
Yeah, so that big building I think uses fluids and stuff. Also just notice that these um, cockroach things go and eat the corpses, which is quite cool. So let's just quickly capture all this stuff. Automate the heck out of absolutely everything. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Cool, so now we can do the cobalt. We just need to find some somewhere. We need a lot more power. Um, so we got a big area up here. I'm gonna make a big old power farm. Well, that was pretty shit. This is just those things again. These look like giant pomegranates. Oh, the map does expand as I'm moving now. It is going a bit beyond what we had before, so that's cool. Um, so it is just bigger than that very red These cleave tech is really powerful. Eat lead, Zeno scum! Big old mine. Nice. That's satisfying. A quick little interruption here. I left this part in again just to show my little bit of frustration at, at a little bit of an oversight and the lack of instruction on how to use that feature. I do figure this out for myself a little bit later, but at no point do they really explain that this is how you use the detector. And I think there's, as you've seen, a couple of little bits where they don't really describe this stuff. Again, I might be a complete dum dum and missed it, but um, it's not obvious. Um, let's hop back in. Oh, okay, we get a detector machine that allows us to find the cobalt, I think. Interesting. So does that come under our 
crafting menu do we have to go in here and create the detector or do we get it automatically do we really have that standard armor plating or do we still have to craft it crafting completed Let's build one of these shotguns just to see what it's like. Crafting completed. Charge attack, longer range, narrow spread, bigger damage. Okay. So we can actually. Looks like you know some dual wield stuff as well, which is kind of cool. Um, as to where that um, detector thing comes from, I actually have no idea. Um, I'm confused about this thing. We had that detector thing. I got it in our research, but I do not know how we equip it or make it unless it's behind another research over here. Universal Contains the blueprints for the Universal Geo Scanner. So we're it's not in any of our crafting stuff. I don't see it in any of our equip zones. It's not under skills. It's not a movement skill. It's not an upgrade. Is it a mod? No. Is it just a button? Did I miss that button under somewhere? It's not orbital scanner. Um, yeah, that's just this main thing. Um, I am confused. Maybe if we build that um, with beacon thing, it will unlock more buildings for us to build. Or maybe we need that thing with the level 2 armory. Okay, so we've got water input and we've got some golden looking resource. Carbonium too. storage is full. Build more storage. Construction of the Rift Station's foundation is in progress. Congratulations, Ashley. This milestone marks the beginning of the next chapter of our mission on this planet. Oh, okay. Just holding down space shows the detector thing. Cool. And it seems to be showing a direction for us. Base is under attack. Cool, that's given us uh, cobalt, I think. No, that was just a explosion of hazy nuts. The construction of the Rift Station Foundation has been completed. We need to construct all of the Rift Station components before we can start powering up the portal. The Rift Station has three main components that require a lot of rare resources to be built. The fusion field accelerator requires enriched uranium. The hyperparticle condenser requires palladium. And the quantum gate stabilizer, which requires titanium. We haven't found any traces of these elements near our base. These resources might not be present anywhere near our location. We should construct an orbital scanner to start scouting for interesting locations around the entire planet. It will allow us to establish precise coordinates for long-range rift jumps around the planet. We don't have the required schematics to build an orbital scanner. We have to download the orbital scanning technology through the communications hub. Okay, well, I think that's a good place to stop it. We'll do all that and explore new parts of the game uh, next time. I think a lot of new stuff is going to open up. With that, we're going to jump through our rift and do all sorts of cool stuff around the planet. I'm really enjoying this game. Just a couple of those little hitches that we talked about, but it's super fun. I enjoy the base building. The hack and slash shooting is super fun. 
yeah, so I want to try out that stream thing. If you're into that, check out uh, me on Twitch. Um, leave a comment if you want to see it, and if you want to see some more. And you can tell me other dumb it's things I've done in this game. This cool. It's also Bye. affecting our solar panels and wind turbines. We have to wait it out.